Ladies and gentlemen, October 11th, 2019 was the last time I played Anthem. So everyone's asking me, why am I back to Anthem? Well, it's actually hearing all this information on YouTube about Anthem 2.0. So, ladies and gentlemen, it has been that long since I've played Anthem. I haven't even touched the game of Anthem since October 11th of 2019. So, I have no idea um, what I've missed in this game. And I probably forgot the controls. So, bear with me if I play like crap. I'm sorry. It's been a while for me. But Bioware is working on a complete overhaul of the game called Anthem Next or Anthem 2.0 and here's the thing everyone and I have to say it including myself thought Anthem was dead yes including me I also thought Anthem was dead and I also gave up hope on Anthem but I am obviously seeing now that this was a mistake I should have never given up on Anthem because I mean I did miss the game. I really did. And now we're hearing all this stuff again. I'm back to having a lot of hope on the game and getting the hang. Try to probably get the hang of the game again because it's been a while since I played, so I really forgot how to play it, guys. So, be sure since I've last played. So, recent silence and complete high profile departures from Bioware. As left fans thinking the studio um, from for O has been in development. To be talking to you guys about Anthem 2.0 in today's video, everything that I know of it thus far, which isn't a heck of a lot, but this is going to be a longer video than I usually do for Anthem, just because it's been a while since I played the game, I'm still learning about everything. Everybody is talking about Anthem 2.0. Okay, so there is no release date. For Anthem 2.0 as of now but there may be um, a release date coming up we just don't know as of now there is not a release date so I mean it can be probably around E3 time when we start to see it I have no idea but I'm just hoping that um, Anthem 2.0 does not disappoint the fan base um, like, like really will be so much better than the Cataclysm because it would be a very big upset if it's not. So developers are still deciding whether updates should still occur. And what do I mean by this? I mean that they're still debating whether they want to do updates on the game to slower improve Anthem or just skip all the, blech, skip all the updates and just go into the main, main focusing on the development of Anthem 2.0. So what that means, basically what I'm trying to say, is that they're deciding whether they want to continue to do updates or not do any updates and just get try to get Anthem 2.0 done quicker um, than if they were wasted more time with updates. So that's pretty significant. So that's pretty much they are really considering about it. So Anthem Next could be a brand new game, but Bioware said that may that would take many more years. And if they did make Anthem 2.0 a new game that you would most likely have to purchase, I don't think that anybody would want to purchase it. You know, since that they since they did it, um, you know, for the first part, part they paid for the first um. What am I trying to say? They paid for the first game of Anthem, and it was a blow. Why would they want to spend even more money on the game and have the risk of it being garbage? What am I doing? What am I supposed to... I'm, I'm confused. Oh, God, what is this? All right, so, um, Bioware hasn't abandoned Anthem, even though fans called Anthem dead. They have not abandoned it. Oh, this is like a fly through the thing thing. Um, which that's very significant. You know, the fact that they haven't abandoned um, Anthem is very good. Because, I mean, if they did abandon Anthem, I, I did start to give up faith on Anthem. Thinking that they would not be able to do it 
but they stuck with it. Bioware um, has been quietly working on plans for the overhaul Anthem 2.0 or Anthem Next. They haven't been doing a lot of like things telling us what they've been planning on. Um, they've been very quietly and secretively working on Anthem 2.0, and that's big. You know, it's amazing that they've been still working on it, even though they haven't been keeping us posted to everybody. All the fan base seemed to start to worry and think that Bioware was done with Anthem. But yeah, that's 110% by now not the case. Right, so, um, Anthem's release in February of 2019 was a major turning point for Bioware considering it was their first attempt at a shooter game like Anthem. So that's pretty big too. I mean that was Bioware's first real attempt at a shooter um, within the qualities of Anthem and the fact that they did not 100% succeed in that did probably bring them down. I mean, I'm sure they really wanted to succeed um, and do what they could with Anthem, but there's only so much you can do. I mean, it's your first time, so I'll give them on uh, this defeat, and I won't hold this one too much against them as I would if it was a company um, that really had a lot of experiences with um, the first or the um, shooter games. So since they weren't a huge shooter company, I'm going to give them the credit of what they have done. So Anthem's biggest struggle was the bugs, crashes, and loot drops. Um, those were pretty significant. I mean, everybody was talking about all the bugs, the Anthem was so buggy and everything. And everybody I know was also talking about how terrible Anthem's loot boxes were. Which, that is true, Anthem's loot boxes were pretty bad. Um, or loot, <laughs> loot boxes. Loot drops, were they were pretty significantly terrible. Um, the, um, luck perks and how so, how luck can even be, how luck can make, um, loot drops, drops worse if you have too much luck. Um, they had to have luck between, like, a certain range, um, in order it to work. And that was one of their biggest struggles. Now, um, Anthem may drop for PS5 or the newest Xbox console. If this happens, I would be very upset about that cause since I paid pretty good money. I paid about $80 to $100 um, for Anthem. And then have it not being able to play the actual updated version of the game. And it would only be available for the new PlayStation and PS5, or PS5, which is probably going to be coming around around Christmas of 2020, if I do have to guess. That would really dislike that if that were to be the case. Because, um, I mean, I paid good money for the game. I don't want to have to pay even more money for it. And that's why I really don't think that Bioware will make Anthem um, 2.0 or Anthem Next cost you much more, if anything. So in September, Bioware stated they were moving away from some of the updates in favor to some long-term fixes to Anthem. And now, as we all know, those long-term fixes that were being discussed was Anthem 2.0, a.k.a. Anthem Next. That's big. That's really big. And um, hearing that they've been, just, they've been going away from some of their small little updates, like a few minor bug fixes and glitch video stuff like that they've been um focused more on and really need um anthem 2.0 really in order to succeed um bioware head of live services chad robertson said that we hear your concerns on core issues in anthem and are acting on it so this might be um what they were just down that they hear our concerns everybody wants new stuff and maybe that they meant that they were going to get the new stuff that we've been requesting. A few months after that um, quote, Chad Robertson left Bioware following the lead producer Ben Irving who'd left Bioware in August. That's pretty major. That's pretty big. That's a lot of their head, um, their head honchos as some would like to call it, um, in Bioware and EA that are actually that left their company um for pastures new and it's pretty it's pretty significant that they've done that um that's obviously really impacted the game of anthem 
and a lot of people after that said there's now that there's they left there's a hundred percent no hope um but there still is hope so that drives players to say that bioware ditched anthem for good and obviously since everybody and everyone knows anthem 2.0 is in the making that's obviously not the case ea plans to overhaul the loot quest social aspects of the game and difficulties and even the whole game's world so all this graphics that you see is all going to be overhauled in anthem 2.0 so anthem is going to probably be like a brand new game some developers say they're going to change Anthem's entire structure of the game. So Anthem will be nothing like it is right now once Anthem 2.0 goes. I mean, that's going this there might be taking us too much, too much at once. There's probably most likely going to be uh, more bugs and everything in the game than is needed. And if that's the case, that would not be good whatsoever. So changes to the missions as well. They've been saying that they're going to want to do more mission changes, um, enhancing missions, or getting better missions and better loot at the end of missions. All that stuff um, has been in development of being changed, which is awesome. It's really, really good so tons of tests are being taken on the game of anthem but still nothing concrete um that was actually a 2.0 information on it you can also look up on one two s one yes there's been some significant anthem guys sorry about that um delay my control anthem 2.0 will be gameplay enhancement so the graphics the bugs all that is going to be enhanced the gameplay strategies the way you're fighting and that might also mean PvP might get added to Anthem 2.0. Um, so yes, I'm definitely... The original game of Anthem really did need gameplay enhancements, so they're definitely going to be doing that. Different Bioware teams from like across the world all have different ideas for Anthem 2.0, which if they can all work together and put all these ideas into one, um, this would be fantastic, and this would really enhance Anthem. This would make Anthem so much better, you know, getting all their teams together to really put a punch on the game um, and really do good on this, which would be fantastic. Anthem Next is in production along with the new Mass Effect game. So if you guys do see some, like, um, delays or you notice that anthem 2.0 or anthem next is taking longer bioware is also considering or working on in the process of a new um mass effect game so i mean it's probably going to take some time with all that um going in that anthem 2.0 may take a little bit longer anthem couldn't compete with its competition so i mean games um like the division 2 um you know, like PUBG, all those type of games that are like shooters and stuff like this. Anthem really couldn't compete with it. I mean, you did also kind of have Fallout 76 around that same time period. But right now, um, at this very moment, if Anthem 2.0 somehow made a surprise fast appearance, it would succeed most likely because there's no big games coming out right now. And the competition is lowering. Not too many people are still playing The Division. You don't see much of it. And, um... I mean, you also find out that Cyberpunk 2077 is coming out a ways from now, so Anthem 2.0 could um, do good right now. But Anthem had and still has so much potential. That's the thing that got everybody. Nobody expected Anthem to fail and really fail as much as it did. Um, I know that a lot of the people expected Anthem to dominate dominate the competition but i mean within the first few like weeks of playing the first month of playing i should say of anthem you know a lot of people have really looked at this game and said it's not as good as they would have hoped um and or expected you know stuff like that nobody really um expected anthem to drop as much as it did so anthem's biggest problem was its loot drops everybody was talking about the loot drops of anthem how bad the loot drops were um all that 
kicked off. Nobody appreciated. Um, okay, so I'm playing in Grandmaster 1. Never mind. Nobody appreciated the loot drops. Like, you would get epic loot all the time. You would very rarely get masterwork. And extremely rarely never get legendary. It came, like, once or twice, like, a week. It was so rare to get good loot drops. And that was a huge fault for Anthem. And that's what really brought it down. Um, big changes coming to loading screens. There's been a lot of loading screens, like, for Fort Tarsus and everything, all this stuff. Loading screens, I mean, like, when Anthem first came out, loading screens were a bitch to deal with. And I'm sorry for swearing. I'm trying to make this still family friendly channel. But the the loading screens were so bad for Anthem. And um, I know there's been some changes for loading screens. Like, you don't have a loading screen anymore to get to the forge from Fort Tarsus. From Fort Tarsus back to the forge. They took away, like, a loading screen or a menu, whatever, um, from going um, from Fort Tarsus into the... Um, mission like menu screen where you select a mission stronghold whatever they did a lot of changes with that and new player progression and better end game experiences for players will be coming in anthem next so that's also going to be significant changes um you know better end game um player progression so maybe we'll get new levels new systems of leveling up ranks whatever like that um, and hopefully a better end game, they said. So, maybe brand new missions, remake all the old missions, just have a more successful end game. Because, let's face it, when we beat Anthem, um, when you beat the main quest line for Anthem, you didn't feel like you accomplished shit. I'm gonna be honest. Will the players stay with Anthem till after Anthem 2.0's development is the question. Can the players hold on to the game of Anthem, have enough faith in it, and confidence to continue along with the game until Anthem 2.0 does drop? Now, that is going um, to be the big million dollar question. Um, I am definitely going to be um, sticking with it. But actually, here's I'm also looking off my notes on a piece of paper. So, um, a big, 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 big question um, that would really let people down if the question was yes is: Will Anthem 2.0 cost you more money? And that's going to be the bitch of a problem with um, Bioware. If they make Anthem 2.0 um, free, it would be good. You know, like just a normal update you don't have to pay for. But if they make Anthem 2.0 something you need to pay for, that would really ruin it. That would destroy Bioware, and that would do a lot of damage to them as a company. So I really don't think that right now they can afford to make Anthem 2.0 have to you need to pay money for because nobody will pay more money for a game that failed the first time around when it should have succeeded and that's pretty much the bottom line to it anthem 2.0 should have succeeded from the get-go but it didn't and that's probably going to be if not my, my opinion the biggest problem um for bioware you know if they make anthem 2.0 you know needed to pay money in order to play it would be a major major letdown until Anthem 2.0 drops, Bioware will continue to throw Cataclysm events our way to keep us busy. Um, they're going to continue to throw us old Cataclysm um, events and missions and everything um, to try to keep us, you know, playing the game, um, you know, before Anthem 2.0 drops. Because that would be a letdown, you know, they work so hard on Anthem 2.0 and then by the time we launch it, nobody still plays Anthem 2.0. That would really hurt Bioware, and I mean, that's pretty much one of the big causes there, is that they're afraid that people might start get bored of the game since no up in 2.0 drops. Um, there will be major changes to the game's difficulty. So difficulty, whether that means loot drops, changes, um, depending on your difficulty, you'll get more loot drops. I don't know if that's what they're talking about. Um, Meaning they're going to make it more challenging for the higher difficulties because I mean you're admitting it that Playing on GM right here is super easy. Maybe they're gonna make GM extremely harder um, To do maybe they're gonna change javelin upgrades um, 
to you know your levels of javelin like my this javelin right here is a 742 and it's a master of javelin maybe they're going to make them more stronger maybe they're going to make only legendaries real strong i don't know but i'm just hoping that there's um going to be some big changes so anthem 2.0 has been planned for months now and time has already been spent in the rebuilding phase of anthem 2.0 or anthem next that's big um i mean so bioware has already put time in to anthem 2.0 um which is pretty cool um which i mean that's going to be big um that they've since they've already put time into the game um there is more likelihood of it to be taking a while to get done with anthem next or anthem 2.0 um and also get it to succeed more and if Anthem 2.0 succeeds the way I hope it does, and I'm pretty sure the entire fan base hopes it does, then we'll have no problem sticking with Anthem. So when Ben and Chad left Bioware, everyone thought Anthem was dead. Um, literally everybody. And then at that moment right there, no one had any faith <coughs> in Bioware um, as a company to move forward and still be successful. Um, considering that like their two main people of the company left um that was that really drug them down a bit um but i hope that they with their different teams across the world they can still manage to put um ideas and throw things together for anthem 2.0 and make it better and the big question i'm going to end you with let me know in the comment section what you guys think will anthem 2.0 or anthem next be free to play I know I've talked li lightly about it before, but I'm going to try to go into a little bit more um, conversation about that right now. Anthem 2.0 really kind of has to be free in order for Anthem to get saved. If Anthem 2.0 is going to cost the fan base money, um, since Ant when the fan base spent probably mostly $70 to $80 on Anthem in the first place, why would they spend more money on Anthem 2.0? when anthem failed to do what it's supposed to do in the first place um that's probably the biggest um thing i could talk about right there why would it cost money when it failed in the first place um i mean bioware kind of owes us i would say owes us um that anthem 2.0 must be free it, they kind of guarantee they should guarantee it's going to be free because i mean they kind of have to make it free since it was such a bad game um, when it first was launched. And I really do think that they're going to make it free. I think they're going to put Anthem 2.0 as like a normal update for the game. Like your average update. Um, it's going to say like an update. Anthem 2.0. Anthem's biggest update yet. Uh, Anthem next update. Within that category they're going to make it. And that would be fantastic because that's, that's needed right there. They need Anthem um, 2.0 to succeed. And if they make it. To where you have to pay for it it's not going to succeed i'm going to tell you guys that if they make anthem 2.0 where you have to pay to pay bleh, you have to pay to play it it's not going to succeed i'm just going to say it it will not succeed that way ladies and gentlemen that is all for this video back into the anthem videos i am thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video.